Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost, and today uh, we are going to implement the damages, you know, like, so, if you remember the, the last episode, when we created script damage check, I think it's called, um, we we had it as placeholder, uh, in this one we're just going to program the functionality in there, and so yeah, uh, let's get started with that. So, if you remember from the previous episode, we got card manipulations working. Uh, we can now control our hand and put it on the board. Um, and we also created this script, but we, we just did it as a, like a little uh, placeholder for now. We're going to code this script properly now. So, if you go back into it, uh, this is going to be what flips the, um, the other cards around the card that either we play or the AI play. So let's see what happens here. So when we um, do app parameter like this, uh, it just shows uh, down here like a normal function would that shows what, what options it wants, okay? Uh, and it's gonna check all four directions around the card. And if it finds another card and it belongs to the enemy, uh, then it will check the numbers and flip the card if it beats it. So if it's the plays card, um, obviously true, if we pass true into the script then it's our card, if it's false it's the AI's card. So we just set the depth to minus y uh, and that, if you see there the minus 105 that means we're checking above the card that we played and we're looking for parent card. Okay. Uh, if our up is bigger than enemy down, then we will flip the card. Okay. So we're just going to check if the image blend is already global dot c my red because if it's if that is the image blend, then that means the card belongs to the opponent. Okay. And then we're going to set enemy uh, or the flip variable to one on the enemy's card, and then we'll set the image blend to c white, so that becomes uh, under the player's control if you like. And then what we'll do is we will add one to the play score and we will take one from the enemy score. Uh, and then what we do is we do this exact same thing but for every single direction. So now we're looking um, for down. And what this then allows for is uh, so you can like double flip. Okay, so imagine you've got like, I don't know, the AI's got a card in like the top center and the left middle and you put a card at the top left, so the very first slot. If you can beat both of those cards, both of those cards, you'll flip them both. Uh, as opposed to, you know, if this was Elsif, Elsif, and Elsif, then you'd only flip one of those cards. Okay, so as you can see, I've just skipped ahead, um, and yeah, we just look for. So the, the the code's all the same, but we're just looking in different directions for. Uh, the next card as you can see so here we're looking left and we compare our left to the enemy's right and then we do it for the right position as well so else now remember oh sorry actually before that if we flip the card or well it doesn't really matter after we've played the card we then set the AI turn to true so then it's obviously the enemy's turn to play a card but if we look at this else, sta else statement here so at the top we're saying if is player is true, um, so if it's our card, then we'll we will do the damage based on what we've played, or check the damages, I guess, based on what we've played. Else, so if it's the enemy uh, who's played the card, it is it's the exact same um, code, except we're saying uh, with object then object deck gen enemy selected, and then uh, obviously the scores get added differently. And we're checking for the opposite or the C white image blend. Uh, but yeah. And then obviously we just turn it to the global dot C my red. Uh, and then at the end we just set played to true. And we set enemy selected to no one afterwards. Okay, so if you go to object card player, if you remember uh, we set up the uh, initial variables. And we're now just gonna do the flip code. So uh, obviously we've just said in the damage check, if uh, the place card is beaten, then 
you know, we're going to set flip to one and do some stuff. Uh, so we need this. So if flip is one, then we're going to do a flip. And we're going to say image x scale, and we're going to minus 0 0.1. And it's going to keep doing that every frame. And when it becomes zero, flip is going to become two. Uh, and then we'll just say else if flip equals two, then we'll add one to the image x scale. And once image x scale becomes one again, flip will equal zero. And that, that just gives like the flip effect you saw. Okay, so if we go to object card E and we create a create event, we need some variables and other things in there. And we're going to initialize the card. Depth immediately is going to equal the minus y. The blend is going to equal global dot c my red. Um, and then obviously just sort the stats out. And then the technical variables, we need played again. Uh, being played is going to equal false. We need the AI needs a path for the card and flip. So in the step event, I've just done the uh, flip code again because it's exactly the same. Right, so we also need a path ended script. Uh, sorry, a uh, path ended uh, thing event. Uh, and in here, we just need this. Um, so when it ends the path, it will just run the script. Okay, that's all it's doing there. So what we need to do now is we need to add oops sprite card back. Uh, you'll find this in the description, and we need this because uh, ultimately um, it's somewhat cheating if we could see the uh, the AI's hand, you know. So that'll be in the description. And then what we need is we need a draw vent, and in the draw vent uh, we need to. Oops, I should probably fix the description but we're going to draw the cell we're going to draw cell sorry and if path index is my path then being played it will equal true uh, if being played is false then we're going to draw sprite card back over the card itself okay um, so yeah if we're being played so if our path is my path which means now we haven't specified what my path is going to be yet that's going to come in the next episode when we deal with the AI uh, but all we need to know is that when um, our, when our path index equals my path, then being played will equal true. And while being played is equals false, we're going to draw the card back over it. And once this tends to true, we'll see the card being played. Right, so thank you very much for watching, guys. And in the next one, the project should start coming together just that little bit more. Uh, because we're going to add the AI. And then, as you can see, like the flip effects here, uh, they will be in the next episode. Uh, obviously, we've programmed on this episode. It was kind of we just needed to get it done because the AI needs to come last, really, just because it's it's quite a lot of code in there. So we need to talk about it like it needs its own episode, really. So we've got all the setup ready for the game to actually work with an AI. So, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.